Today I'm going to tell you about the Marillac Soft Pro, the latest snoot on the block and it comes from new kid on the block as well, Marillac, an underwater photography housing and equipment company based in California, the United States of America. In my video I'm going to tell you about the build, how it's made and my personal experiences of using the Marillac Soft Pro Snoot. Hopefully by the end of this video you will have made a decision of whether the Marillac Soft Pro is for you or not. But wait until the end and see some of my photos so that you can make an informed decision. My Soft Pro arrived in this beautiful high quality grey zippered carrying case. Inside the case was my Marillac Soft Pro Snoot, some spare O-rings and the soft dock that attaches your Marillac Soft Pro to your strobe. A rubber protector cap for the end of the flash tube as well as a ball mount to attach the Soft Pro to your float arm. The Marillac Soft Pro is made from anodized scratch resistant aluminium, beautiful black color, very sturdily made. It comes with a thick neoprene cover on the flash tube to just add some extra buoyancy. The Marillac Soft Pro is 5.5 centimeters and 182 grams lighter than the original Marillac Soft Snoot. To use the Marillac Soft Pro, you also need to buy the Soft Dock, which is designed for your specific strobe. So no matter what strobe you use, chances are that Marillac already has a soft dock for your strobe. If there isn't a soft dock especially for your strobe, contact your local dealer and I'm sure Marillac will make a plan and make a soft pro dock especially for your strobe. The soft dock is also made from exactly the same material and is very rugged, very sturdy and very well made. One thing you need to be aware of when you buy a Marillac Soft Pro is it has a special battery for the inbuilt aiming light. And this is a 18350 battery and my country, South Africa, is very, very difficult to find them. So I had to order mine online. So if you want to use your Marillac Soft Pro as soon as you receive it, you better order some batteries beforehand. Perhaps you can find them in your shops, but I couldn't find them in any of mine and I went to every single battery shop I could think of and they didn't stop them. But I was lucky I could find them online. They weren't expensive. I have managed to dive three dives in a row with the Marillac Soft Pro. My battery in here has lasted actually longer than the battery in my Canon R5, which probably only lasts for 350 shots, which is quite annoying, but that's a story for another time. So let's have a look at the Marillac Soft Pro. It has a diffuser at this end to soften the light coming from your strobe. It has a flash tube which has optical lenses inside which condense and strengthen the light so that when it comes out of the flash tube it is of optimum brightness. On top here we have the on off power button which also serves to increase and decrease the strength of the aiming light and if you press the button once, you can swap the aiming light between white and red. There is a dial on the side, and what that does is it replaces the need for masks. It's absolutely fantastic, no need to fiddle with masks, trying to guess which size mask to use to get the ideal size of light to hit your subject. All you need to do with this is turn the dial and it will change the aperture size for you. There are also some optional extras that Marillac have invented for the Soft Pro, and these include color filters, diffusers, an extension lens that enables the beam from the Soft Pro to reach into nooks and crannies, making it easier to you, for you to light up subjects that are hard to reach. There's also a dome diffuser that you can attach to your strobe when you're not using the Soft Pro, um, but when aren't you? So I would highly recommend if you want to use any of these optional extra accessories to purchase a second Soft Dock so that you can use your Soft Pro Snoot plus some of the really creative optional extras that you can get. Using the Marillac Soft Pro is incredibly easy and to turn it on to use the inbuilt aiming light, you just press this button on here 
for two seconds. And there you have it. At a working distance of 130 millimeters, there is your beam. It starts at a diameter of five centimeters. And by turning the dial, I'll show you this way, by turning the dial away from you or clockwise, the beam becomes very, very narrow and gives you a pool of light of three millimeters, which is fantastic if you want to shoot tiny little things like sashimi shrimps and very small nudibranchs. You just need to remember to keep the working distance at 13 centimeters or 130 millimeters so that you get a lovely crisp beam. It becomes dimmer and brighter depending on where you turn the dial. So in order to get a dimmer or a brighter beam, all you need to do is turn the power button. You can also, as long as it is lined up with the groove here, you can also turn to a red light. And that's really, really useful when you're going to be taking photos of timid critters. Again, the red light becomes brighter and dimmer, depending on where you have it on the dial. Brighter and dimmer. Attaching your Marillac Soft Pro to your strobe is very easy. There are lines on the Marillac Soft Pro that you line up with your soft dock and you just have to make sure it goes in nice and firmly and then you just give it a good turn and the lock on the soft dock locks your Marillac Soft Pro into place. Very sturdy, very secure and it's not going to go anywhere. What I like to do is to use the ball mount on the Soft Pro itself to attach to my strobe arm. It gives you a much nicer balance and center of gravity between your strobe and the Marillac Soft Pro. Another amazing feature for creative underwater photographers is the ability to change the duration of the amount of time the aiming light remains on for when you press your trigger. So if you're using a slow shutter speed, you can change the duration that the aiming light stays on from 0.2 seconds to 1.2, which is really great to help you aim when you're using long exposures or slow shutter speeds for creative underwater photography. I've been diving with the Marillac Soft Pro now for two months, and this is how I've finally decided to set up my housing for the best buoyancy. I have a medium strobe arm on this side with three sticks jumbo floats and a short strobe arm with one sticks jumbo float and I connect that to my strobe. On the other side, I found I needed a little bit more buoyancy because of the added weight of the Marillac Soft Pro and my strobe. And what I've done on this side is I put two jumbo sticks floats on a shorter arm and then a mega float on this arm. And I've just found that it's given me perfect buoyancy for my strobe and for the Marillac Soft Pro. And this way I found it very, very easy to move the Marillac Soft Pro into the correct position. And once it's in the correct position, I just tightened the strobe arms and left it like that for the rest of the dive. Unless of course I had to put a diopter onto the front of my housing for the smaller critters, in which case I needed to move my Marillac Soft Pro a little bit closer to the camera. Once I had the perfect buoyancy set up, it was very, very easy to use the Marillac Soft Pro. I could just look through my viewfinder and turn the dial and depending on the size of subject and the pool of light I wanted on my subject, I could just turn the dial according to how much light and how big a pool of light I want to have on my subject. Very easy to reach, very easy to turn. The dial turned so smoothly. There was a great range of beam size that I could use with the dial without having to fiddle with any masks. Once the snoot was in position, there it was. I could go around taking all the photos that I wanted to. The great thing is that the beam falls exactly where your strobe is going to fall. So before you even press the trigger, you know exactly what your photo is going to look like. Absolutely brilliant. Normally in snooting, it's quite frustrating because you're using the focus light of your strobe to find where the snoot is going to light. 
Um, so with the Marilux's own inbuilt aiming light, it was always really easy to see exactly where your strobe was going to light. And the light quality coming out of the flash tube is of exceptional quality. It really did give a pop and bring about a lot of details in my photos. I'm very happy with the light quality of the Marilux Soft Pro. Also, I love the ability to change the size of the beam, which resulted in either a small or a large spot exactly the size that I needed, where normally with a normal snoot, you would have to fiddle around with masks and find the right aperture hole for the size of beam and the size of spot that you want to use. All in all, with the inbuilt aiming light that you can make brighter, you can dim, you can change from white to red, you can change the size of the beam and ultimately the spot landing on your subject by just turning this aperture dial is an absolute winner for me. And if you're looking to buy a snoot or you are unhappy with the one you've got, invest in a Marilux Soft Pro. You will not be disappointed. The Marilux Soft Pro is feature packed and offers underwater photographers of all levels a well made, durable, future-proof and easy to use snoot. You'll have to contact your local dealer for the price of the Marilux Soft Pro and I've put a link in the comments below of all the dealers that you can contact and hopefully you'll find one close to you that you can contact and who'll be able to help you get your Marilux Soft Pro. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like this video and if you have any comments put them down below. I'd love to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching. Stay in touch and happy bubbles.